we get cooking with Phil, we've got a bit of an anniversary today mm -hmm. because um, something popped up on your phone, isn't it, from 11, how many years ago? 11 years ago, Phil you know, McGannis. The, these things pop up okay. in your memory. Oh, <laughs> Please explain oh, this you're giving me a Right, I was conned price. into that, I was conned into that. We went to do seaweed, um, we cooked with seaweed, like sea vegetables. Yeah. Janice, my, if you're watching Janice, it's your fault. Okay. So, well, the pan is really good for your skin, so I want a bath. As soon as you put hot water on seaweed, it goes like starchy and gloopy. So I got into it. <laughs> right. They never used the shot, and I was covered in this like gunk. You're finding bits of seaweed in places you didn't know you Janice had. Rowe. Janice Rowe. I mean, just thought we share. They're doing a Little Mermaid remake. You might be able to be a little sea urchin or something. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Oh, I, love it. I love it when those memory things it, pop up it. on your phone, though, don't you? I love it. You forget, <laughs> thing, you forget things you've anyway, done. Anyway, steak back sandwich. To now. Steak, steak sandwich. sandwich. It is. Got to get move on because we've only got five, five minutes now. There it is, dead simple. Now, whole point about this is, people say steak's expensive, and it is, but if you box a bit clever, add a few bits and pieces like I've done there, you could actually have a steak sandwich for less than two quid each, one pound ninety something. Bargain. Works out right. What kind of steak? Ah, it's interesting. I'm using a ribeye here, and also silver side, which is, which is basically um, matured in a bag. Okay, so it's quite tasty. Can be a little bit chewy. In a handbag? No, 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 no not in your house. <laughs> Free it out. Yeah. Or sirloin's another one, but I'm using one here now. Great little tip. Cut it as thin as possible, right up half a centimetre. Okay. You can now, buy them like that, though, can't you? You can minute steak. Minute steak. steak. You can, yeah. No. They're minute Are you steak. going in? Have you gone in? I've already had no, one. In. Here's a great little tip. I sometimes use salt, but sometimes with the top side or silver side, which can be used, you sometimes give it a nice so much flavour. Here's a great tip. This is overall. Stop or, it. Or marmite, or what's the other one? Vegemite. Vegemite. Rather than using salt, I use a little bit of bovril on the steak. Oh, because I don't normally like all this. No, but it, it replaces yeah. the salt and it just gives you that little bit extra Disgusting, of a maybe. beef kick, okay? Pepper. Now, if your bag, uh, steak's been in a bag, it's been matured in a bag, sometimes it's quite watery, so when you fry it, it tends to have like, um, like water, a little boil rather That's than a fry. a bit foamy. Yeah. It? If you've got that, here's a great little tip. Corn flour or arrowroot, just a dusting, just a dusting of the corn flour onto there. See that? A bit more. Yeah. And then Literally, you see that there? Or yeah. stick? A little, a little bit on there, not too much because it will go glue. So that'll absorb the any moisture. That'll absorb the moisture. So when you put it into the hot pans I've got here, that's a red hot pan, non-stick, that will seal straight away. And that sugar, sorry, that starch is carbohydrates and sugar, so it caramelizes it and gives it a sweet edge as well. Nice. But as soon as it hits, it seals it straight away. Ooh. It's a really good, really good tip. You're right, when it goes a bit watery and foamy, it starts to boil the meat. Exactly. Yeah, it's it's nice. But be quite brutal with it. Don't worry too much about the plate, like that. I'm trying to cook this in real time. What a brute you are. Boom, You're there you go. You're weed out. Right, <laughs> now wash my hands. So, whilst that's cooking, then, I mean, it's the clues in the stand are saying yeah. a minute steak, so we give it 10 15 seconds on each side. Nice, if I just turn that over now, look at that. So, no water at all, and it seals it straight away. Now, at that point, there, I'm going to turn the, the pan off and leave that if you like it rare. I know that you guys yeah. like it slightly uh, mm. more cooked. This is lovely, it's perfect. It's, it's really lovely. It's pretty good. So, that's it in the pan. Give it another 20 seconds, let it rest. Golden rule let it rest for the same amount of time you cooked it for. Right, yeah, so we've done the steak. Yeah. Tender. Here's the filling. Red onion. This onions. is what makes it. Right, red There's onion. The flavour's oh. coming. I've got mustard somewhere. Have I got Egg, mustard Mustard's well? in the mayonnaise. Yes. Love it. So this is pickled onions. Here we've got red, normal red onion. That is now ready. I'm going to take it out. Let it rest. Look at that. That's it, done. So quick. Let it rest. Great. P pickled onions here. Normal red onion. Red, red wine vinegar. Any vinegar will do, but I'm using red wine. Pour that on. And then just add a teaspoon, level teaspoon of sugar. On top, mix it up, just leave it. 20 minutes, it will completely change the colour. If I just show you that there, you'll see there's a different colour. Oh, wow, yeah. So that just yeah. shows you in, in the 20 minutes. A bit it of tomato. It cooks them then, does it? The acid? Yes, it does. The, yeah. It partially cooks them. Here I've got Dijon mustard and also mayonnaise. That becomes the actual, almost like butter in the baguette. Mm -hmm. That's where you can That's take That's what I've got, yeah, that, I'm getting that mustardy flavour. It's lovely. Now, be slightly careful if you're using English mustard. It's very strong. That's really strong, yeah. So, I'm this good. is a, a mild mustard, so we just add it into the baguette. I only do one side. OK, we just spread it along. Look at that. It's not the most elegant thing to eat, it's is not, it? It's I know not. What, it's we're a bit, here, yeah. <laughs> and, and that's why I'll just keep talking while you eat. <laughs> so, plum tomatoes, in they go, like that. Watercress, I love. Rockets, up to you. A little bit of normal I love lettuce. a bit of that. A little walk, a bit of rocket. You know, yeah, it's just it's exotic, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, I just thought I'd do it on purpose. Slightly peppery. I like it really well. Again, a bit of salt and pepper. I will add 
the onions into there as well. These are the ones we did earlier, as I say. Just a few, in they go. So um, for under two pounds, that includes all the filling and the baguette. You have to get yourself a steak sandwich. I know you've not. We were talking this. today, Phil, about okay. they're saying if you learnt French at school, yep. that you still would remember. You know, like, <laughs> do you have a little saying like? Uh, Écoutez et répétez, which basically means listen and learn. Yes. <laughs> Écoutez et répétez. <laughs> was it the family motto? Was it in the yeah. book? It's text so book. true. I was rubbish at it. Anyway, wish I'd kept it up. But I can speak French, kitchen French and obviously swearing. What's this then? Stick sandwich. A stick sandwich is to be... Uh, God, baguette de boeuf. Baguette, baguette de boeuf. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. probably would be. <laughs> baguette de boeuf. Cut the steak in half. Again, I quite like mine slightly rare, so in that goes mm -hmm. like that. You can have that one. It's then. just so nice. I know you didn't cook the baguette, but that baguette adds some as well. No, it's, oh, no, I did cook it, actually. Did you bake that baguette? Yeah. No, no, I just cooked it. I was freezing. Just it. <laughs> <laughs> right, really nice. in it goes, like that. Look at that. Oh. They're all for mm. less than £2 each. There it is there. Nice sharp knife. Cut that in half on a slight angle. Mm. And there you have it. It's lovely. So nice. Yeah. So nice, Phil. Yeah. And so easy. So easy. And a bargain. Delicious. Under, under two quid each. There you go. Can't go wrong. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir, Philippe. <laughs> Au revoir. Uh, for all the details of today's recipe and even more delicious ideas from our This Morning Chefs, uh, head to the free This Morning app.